All right. Hey, everyone. Uh, I'm Knox from Sysdig, and we're going to be uh, covering troubleshooting and forensics. So normally in these talks, you go into monitoring and security. Uh, t we want to go a little bit deeper and actually go in and do some forensic analysis today. Uh, before we get started on that, I want to give you a little bit of overview about uh, who we are at Sysdig and what we do. Uh, we are founded by this guy named Loris Dejuani. Uh, probably most of you guys know from uh, his past tools or, or are familiar with the tool Wireshark. And a lot of the same approaches uh, that we took into getting uh, visibility into your network, uh, we're now getting using similar ways to get visibility into your containers. So uh, we launched our open source project, Sysdig. And from there, we've got uh, millions of different users of the Sysdig open source tool. And that's the base of our instrumentation for all of our commercial products as well. Uh, we've got 300 plus enterprise customers using Sysdig for uh, real-time monitoring and security visibility into their systems. And we're part of the Red Hat ecosystem, uh, part of the container catalog, in the open innovation labs, all that kind of stuff. So what I wanted to talk about today is how monitoring and security uh, at scale is a different challenge. So first, on the visibility side, uh, containers are really going to break uh, your legacy monitoring and security tools. So how do you get visibility into what's actually running inside those containers, the application metrics, system metrics, uh, any file that's opened, any network connection, those user commands. And then how do you tie that back to your uh, services that are being deployed by OpenShift? So not just protecting a container image, but then going back and uh, scoping policies, uh, looking at intrusions and, and events at more logical layers, like OpenShift deployments or your different namespaces. And then how do you take uh, that data at scale and manage it without having to add tags to all your metrics and running into huge cardinality issues? So I'm going to talk a little bit about the architecture of our platform. Um, and we, it comes down to two different main components. The first is container vision, uh, which I'll get into a little bit later. And this gives us visibility into uh, your applications, your networks, the hosts. And then service vision, which is where we're going to take all the metadata and all the labels from OpenShift and your cloud providers and tag any security event or any performance metric that we collect with all the relevant in, uh, data for your troubleshooting and forensics investigations. Uh, this data can be sent to our cloud platform or uh, to be deployed as an on-prem service. So however you want to run it, however you want to consume our services, you can do this. And that single agent and single backend provides full monitoring, security, and deep troubleshooting and forensics capabilities. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about how we actually collect data from your systems. So this is a simplified host. Uh, we've got a custom app running in a container, uh, another classic Nginx image running here. And you can deploy our agent as a process or a container that's running on the host. From there, we're actually going to instrument the kernel to see all the different system calls uh, that are running to be able to see any activity inside that container, anything that's happening from those processes, and then send that back to your backend. From there, uh, what you're seeing on the left is what a lot of your applications look like. So OpenShift is scheduling uh, your different pods, your different deployments across a bunch of physical nodes. And what we'll do is integrate directly with the OpenShift APIs to then give you a logical view of how, the, how those applications are performing. Uh, so you can write a security policy that says uh, this deployment as a whole shouldn't have any outbound connections. And then that policy will then scale to the hundreds or thousands of containers that rolling up, are rolling up into that service. So this instrumentation uh, is the basis of our open source projects on the top. So Sysdig for real-time troubleshooting, uh, Sysdig Inspect for forensic analysis, and then Sysdig Falco, which is our uh, behavioral activity monitor that's also open source, and then our two commercial products of Sysdig Secure and Sysdig Monitor. Uh, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about how that metadata uh, changes troubleshooting and forensics. So if you're looking at something like uh, the HTTP response time of a service, the 99th percentile, uh, it's pretty useful to see. But if that service is made up of uh, a bunch of different containers and pods, you want to know how each one of those individual containers is affecting that service. And that's where the labels and metadata come into play. Uh, so what we can see now is how that service is now performing uh, based on an individual container and how that rolls up into that aggregate. Uh, another easy example of this is doing something like detecting uh, crash loopback events within OpenShift. So here we can look at uh, the specific pod restart counts that are happening within a namespace, and then triggering those events 
uh, before that pod restart starts affecting uh, your service as a whole. Uh, from a security perspective, you'll want to do the same type of thing. So uh, with that outbound connection that I talked about before, if you go in and uh, apply this uh, to a Redis deployment, it will then uh, go and protect all the images, all the different containers that are rolling up into that deployment. And then you can configure uh, the specific ports that you'd want to whitelist and the standard behavior that you'd expect uh, for that specific deployment. So now let's go a little bit more into troubleshooting uh, and how you figure out the what, the where, the who, the why. Um, how we did this in the past uh, is with tools like Wireshark. But what I'm going to do really quickly today is take you through a forensic investigation uh, within Sysdig Secure. So this might be a little hard to do with one hand. So I'm going to get Troy. There we go. All right. Thank you. All right, so what we're looking at now is a topology map of my entire infrastructure. Uh, so this is a simple three node OpenShift cluster. Uh, we've got a bunch of physical nodes uh, connecting out to remote IP addresses. And here you can see all the different security events uh, that have happened on a per node basis. But if you're looking at your services and the health of those and uh, the different events that have happened, you're really going to want to enrich this view with that OpenShift metadata. So now I can switch this to look at my certain deployments. And now we're just looking at the specific namespaces. So now I can see each namespace in my environment, drill into a specific namespace where violations have happened, and then drill in further to a deployment to investigate further. So if I click on this WordPress deployment, uh, we've seen an event for a user spawning a shell in a container. So this is kind of your classic container intrusion. This should never happen inside production. And if I click on this, I'll get further details about where this actually happened uh, from a physical perspective and a logical perspective. So we're getting all the different OpenShift metadata about the namespace, the deployment, the pod. You don't have to do any additional reverse lookups, log correlation. Every single event is going to automatically have all of this metadata enriched. Uh, so you can know if you have to go change application configuration or go and patch that host. Uh, so from here, using our lower level visibility, I can jump off and see the commands that were executed. So if I click on view commands, we can see, all right, a user spawned a shell. Uh, looks like they curled down a sketchy looking rootkit. So this is something we're going to definitely want to do further forensic analysis of. Uh, and then unzip that rootkit. So by jumping over into our captures tab, we can open up a capture for further forensics. And what a capture is, is a dump of all the system calls that happen pre and post any security violation in my environment. So this will give me a full snapshot of everything that was going on at that point in time. And let's open one up really quick. All right, trade show Wi-Fi coming through. Uh, OK, so the first thing I can do is overlay that point in time when the event occurred. And so you can see I've got all the data from the 15 seconds leading up to that event and then the 15 seconds afterwards as well. And this is giving me a nice overview of all the different system calls and the activity that was going on. So from here, I can start to go overlay file activity, network activity, those executed commands that we saw before to spot trends across my environment. And then we can use these filters to only filter the data that's relevant to the investigation that I'm doing at this point in time. So from here, we can jump into those executed commands again, and then now go another layer further to see what actually happened when that rootkit was untarred inside my container. So if I double click on this tar command, and then because of all our file activity, switch over to this files view, what we can now see is every single file that was written inside that container at that point in time when that rootkit was unzipped. And then because we're seeing all the system calls, you can actually go another layer and, and, view, and view the content. So if I use our IO streams button here and drill in, make this a little bit more readable, now we're actually looking at the individual contents that were written to the container at that point in time. And the nice thing here is you'll have this full audit and forensics log, uh, regardless of if that container is still running, uh, if it was started and killed right away, it's a full snapshot of every single thing that was happening on your system. Uh, you can also use all this data for troubleshooting. So if you wanted to jump in and look at HTTP requests, see the errors, and all that kind of stuff, 
uh, you'll get full visibility into really anything that was going on. Uh, so hopefully this was a quick overview about how you can use uh, Sysdix data for deeper troubleshooting in forensics. And if you'd like to stop by the booth to see more about what we do at the higher levels with uh, monitoring and security, uh, please stop by. And then I'll be here for questions, so uh, thanks for joining today.